The Thermomix is very handy because you can set a timer, you can set the temperature and it's stirring and it's mixing and instead of maybe standing over a, a frying pan and creating lots of smoke and lots of you know, uh oh moments in terms of trying to cool a pan and heat a pan. This is just so handy in terms of uh, just being organized and it's efficient and it just allows it to do things to make life easier. And then it's like boom, spice, but like really nice spice. So really, really excited about today's video. Today's video is about Indian cooking. I love Indian restaurants, I love going to them. The taste, the smell, everything is just, oh yeah. The way I'm cooking this is a lot different to what the book is saying though, because we are trying it with the Thermomix. Now the Thermomix is an awesome piece of equipment that actually makes cooking so much easier. Now today's challenge, I don't know if we can do it. I actually don't know, I've never tried it, I've never cooked an Indian recipe in the Thermomix. So this is gonna be a massive challenge and hopefully, hopefully it turns out nice and hopefully it cooks properly. Today is a masala gusht, not sure how you pronounce that. A North Indian lamb curry. I would say 90% of the ingredients here. Happy days. We are meant to be using lamb, which today we're using turkey, um, just because we are. And that's it. Um, we got vegetable oil, cinnamon, we got cashmere chili, we have onions, ginger garlic paste, we have tomato paste, bay leaves, garam masala, turmeric, ground coriander, ground fennel, and boom, there you go. There's some ingredients that we're gonna be using. And hopefully, if it goes well, I'll do the next one. So let's see how this goes. Like this. Okay, cinnamon is next. One inch stick of cinnamon broken up, this one. That heated up really fast. So now we're just throwing some onions in. As you can see, the Thermomix is doing a good job of stirring. And it's gonna go for about eight to 10 minutes. So again, we can set the timer, set the temperature, and kind of, you know, walk away. We could do housework, we could do other work, we can do some exercise, we can do whatever we want. While well, this thing is doing it, and we don't have to be standing over it, which is very, very handy. If only you could smell that, that is getting tasty. Three teaspoons of that, ginger garlic paste. The great thing with, the, with this kind of device is we can blend in this pot, so. Ooh la la. Okay, so this is our mixture. Whoop. On. Thirty seconds. So what we're doing is just heating up the oil there as if it's a frying pan. As you can see, set the temperature to ninety-eight degrees, and away with us two fresh bay leaves. Okay, so just gonna throw them in. And we're throwing in the meat. Boom, boom, boom. That. And I'm gonna go with that. Add in garam masala, turmeric, chili powder, coriander, and fennel. Okay, that's our garam masala gone in. Also, just gonna heat it up totally too. And turn up the heat. Add a little bit. One teaspoon of this stuff. The red chili stuff. Spicy, spicy. There's one, two teaspoons, coriander, gone in the bucket. I'm gonna let that go for a few minutes and then I'm gonna add in our masala base that we all have already made. You can see the turkey ain't done at all. The moment I'm just trying to bring it to the boil, bring it up to 120 degrees, then I'm gonna let it simmer. I'm gonna let it simmer at 90 degrees for an hour. Uh, hopefully we got ourselves a beautiful uh, Indian dish slash Irish dish that's actually stirring away. Oh, you don't have to stir. Temperature is on it, you got your timer on it, and it just, as I said, it makes life so much easier. I believe it's cooked. I hope it's cooked, and this is the first time we're gonna taste it, see what it's like. It smells good. <clears throat> that 
that is like a slow release of spice, but in the first mouthful it's like tasty. There's then lots of different tastes going on and um, fruity or something almost. And I was like, boom, spice, but like really nice spice. Beautiful, perfect, happy days. So that's it, um, beautiful dinner, obviously good fresh herbs, <laughs> uh, good spices, very healthy, very tasty, and I'm um, very happy with how that turned out. So onwards and upwards, and uh, yeah, cheers. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna enjoy myself some nice Indian home cooked turkey. Indian slash Irish, we'll call it Indian slash Irish. Right, see ya, be good.